hi orchid lovers instead of hi YouTube anyways I want to discuss my orchid seedlings and basically their care and their cultural needs and yeah anyways their pots Usually, out of a flask, I have them in a little one inch where you've seen in my other video of my Catalea orchid seedlings. Well, I have a lot of dendromium orchid seedlings. So, I wanted to talk about them just specifically. Um, this is about a two inch pot. And then, once it gets bigger, this is the Victoria Rengigin. And then here's my dendromium nester, which is a three inch pot. So that is like the graduated pot. And then, yeah, this is my dendrum. Almost knocked him over. Clumsy dendromium microchip, which, yeah, I talked about it. And I talked about it many times because the flowers are just so cute. So, anyways, um, a fine fur bark. Uh, this one, I with the Dendrobium kinganum, I used uh, medium fur bark, but I wanted to show you. This is a fine fur bark, and it has half sphagnum moss, and it's chopped very fine. Um, watering, I soak once a week and then I spray every few days and then in growing season I soak every two to three days and then I spray every day and for my idea of watering check out my video on watering 101 and it kind of just like explains you know what I do um, for that is for the growing season for your winter rest you want to soak every 10 to 20 days do the watering and then you do not spray at all um, and then the winter rest you stop when it comes for that I think I explained it in my dendrobium um, orchid video about I think I can't remember which one it was, but um, you stop it for like three to four weeks and you do not water. So check out my videos. You can kind of get the idea. Um, so feeding, I do feed because they are babies. They are growing. They need to grow to get mature sized plants. So they kind of need a balanced fertilizer. I use this, which I use for a lot of things. And this one is just a five, a 15.55. Five, five. And yeah, I use it every single watering. And light, I would say for lighting, like here is one that gets tons of light because it's like a nice, perfect green. And then this one is like, you can see the difference. It's like dark green light green and I would give it as much light as a fell this one had way too much light but this in between this one and this one is absolutely perfect but this one is more perfect um, give it as much light as you would for a phalaenopsis and a pathiopetalum um, temperature if you can give it above 7 Fahrenheit that would be great. And then I use, for a humidifier, I use these pebble trays. And then I just set the orchid on top of it. And then I just fill the water to it. And then I just have a pitcher of distilled water and also rainwater. I recycle rainwater. And I let them sit, but not that they're soaking in water. And usually one of these, this is a Subway cookie tray that I'm using. And it will hold up to four of these guys. So it'll hold two three inch pots, two <laughs> two inch pots. And then I just kind of have this in 
Ta-da! One window, which has, of course, the shaded curtains, which filters the light. It's just like a sheer curtain. And then he made a fire. If they're like really tiny, when they get the size, that's fine. But if they're in the one inch, humidified I use is just a VIX humidifier at Walmart for like $20. And it will help you. <laughs> it will help them. It'll help you. It'll help your orchids have just that right amount. But anyways, and these are about one to two years out of some flask. I hope you enjoy watching this quick little video about my dendrobium orchid seedlings. Anyways, thanks for watching. Take care. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.